Gregor Archero here in the rainforest, the temperate rainforest of Asheville, North Carolina. I just love saying that. Asheville, North Carolina. Sound just like rolls off your tongue. Um, so, I've uh, completed the first of uh, one of my projects, of a few projects going on. And to show you it, it is this lovely staff. Set it down right here. Um, it is a copper staff, twisted out of three copper pipes. Um, it has a, a silver so solder at the top, a silver uh, copper solder at the top, with a quartz crystal in it, which cracked a little from me reworking it, but still in there. It looks awfully nice. Um, there is this um, bomb piece right here. And, uh, which is some lead tin solder, which will probably use something next after it, but it did the job. It's already having patina go into it. There's several different, there's a black copper oxide and green copper oxide uh, already going into it, which I do with burnishing and then just natural oxidation. And so, um, to talk about this quickly, because uh, this is using a triple helix, um, however, I reworked it by hammering the, uh, the copper pipe in give it a more organic look, as you can see. I really love how that came out. Um, is uh, the triple helix, uh, in essence, can access a singularity. Being it's not perfect, it's not going to access a singularity like having three perfectly uh, copper tubes. But who knows? Um, I can tell you energetically, it feels off the chain. It felt great even without the crystal before. And so, just holding it uh, parallel with my body, you can feel it immediately align your chakras. It's like it pulls your chakras in, um, right into place. And, uh, and it just allows all this energy to start flowing right through your chakras. It opens up your crown, opens up your root. It's pretty beautiful how it's almost like a, um, it's a magnet. <laughs> Um, it's like your chakras are a magnet, and this is a magnet, and your chakras just want to align to the flow next to it. I mean, this is one big thing about sacred spaces and architecture that helps align your chakras um, uh, with the environment around them. It's just like we're all magnets, and you, you're going with the flow, and this thing creates a lot of flow. So, I'm making a, I'm going to be making more of these staves for, sal for sale. Um, I'm going to sell this one at one... I think I'll do 150. I'll let this one go at 150 if anyone's interested in it. Uh, so to share, I have funding for my work. I have a machine shop. I'm making a video um, to showcase the shop, calling it my laboratory. The Lab laboratory of Dr. Greg Artero, as I'm uh, calling it by, um, as I'm taking over management of the whole shop. And some really cool things are going down in there. And I'm looking for people to help me and join me. Um, and to participate in the work I'm doing here. Um, so I'm not just making staves, but actually engaging in some real free energy research. This is a side project, as I am also a very artistic, creative person, and I think I found a new love, which are these staves. Um, to also relate, I am going to be making staves and poi that utilize the Searle effect. If you're into the Searle effect, it involves a process of ionizing plasma. And if you can ionize uh, the gas around you to create plasma, it's not very sensitive to electromagnetic fields. And if a staff happens to be creating a very strong electromagnetic field, which is just an extension of your own body, um, and using your, your, the body voltage and your own chi and prana, and, uh, and the geometry of the staff and the specific materials, you can drastically amplify um, this electromagnetic field, which you can harness, to then control and move this plasma about how you choose and feel. You can say it's, it's the birth of the Jedi. feels pretty cool. And uh, so that's one of the projects I'm working on. And uh, so, yeah, I'm looking for people to help me during, during my cause um, about bringing new technologies into this paradigm. Um, it's going to be a long, arduous process. Beautiful, great. It's all these other crazy things happening in the world. Um, and uh, <sighs> so, yeah, if anyone wants this staff... I'm putting up for 150. As I said, I have funding at the moment, but I have no income for myself. I'm using the funding on the shop for safety equipment, for tools, for materials. I have no income whatsoever. I'm working like 40 to 60 hours a week on my own time, hauling ass, 
and it's you can say it's a lot of selfless work. I, I do take pride and joy in it, um, but I, I really would enjoy you know some more social aspects in my life um, right now. But there's there's things we gotta do. So uh, yeah, I'm throwing that out there. Um, and if anyone also wants to request more stabs, I'm also redoing the uh, the twister machine and making it handle up to 10 foot sections instead of just 4 foot sections so I can get bigger stabs, so I can make 6 foot stabs. Um, and so I, I'm, I'm down for also custom orders and specific crystals. Um, you can send me crystals to put into it. I can purchase crystals. I have a huge supply of things. Um, and the big notion right now is this is personal income to feed me, to house me, so I can do the free energy research because I have funding for the research. Any donations are extremely appreciated to my work. Um, you've heard me doing a lot of talking and presenting. Well, now I'm applying. And I've been applying it for about uh, going on 50 days, and it feels great. As my big motto is to know and not to do is not to know. So I'm really figuring out how this stuff works firsthand. So thank you. Namaste, everyone. Have a good one.